today's video, I thought of just talking about products that I genuinely love. This is just a series I made way back in the day called like monthly favorites, but then um, people like seem to like it for some reason. So I'm making like 10 parts now. Before I jump in, I do want to talk about like what's going on. First of all, my background's really different. That's because I just moved, shifted to my new apartment and it's so much better here, guys. You won't believe this. I'm on the eighth floor. I can't hear anyone spitting, talking shit. Like it's so quiet on this area. It's amazing. I don't hear airplanes. I don't hear people dying, screaming, bomb attacks, anything going on because I, I can't hear anything. It's amazing. And also I chopped my hair off if you're not following me, which is amazing. A lot of you aren't. What the f Why do I film at like 12 in the night? I get a bit crazy, you see? It's because the ratio is so off. Like I don't care if you don't follow me, like whatever. But the ratio to my YouTube and my Instagram is like so off. It's like here. It generally looks like I bought followers, which I didn't, I swear. Can we get the follow on IG, please? But I posted this picture and a lot of you killed me. Honestly, I'm not feeling it. It's like, whatever. I really miss my long hair. I've always had super, super long hair. Just to see myself, this is so weird. Like, it's just, mm. Anyway, let's get to the actual video. Like, I'm a very black and white person. I either love it or I hate it. When I promote something, I really think it's amazing. It's a plus product and I think everyone should buy it. I'm pretty pathetic like that so when I like something I'm just like texting all my friends like you need to buy this it's amazing first thing that I have on my list which like blew me out of the water has to be I can never pronounce this word right it's called Schwarzkopf <laughs> Schwarzkopf like there are just so many alphabets in there like why just keep it like short Schwarzkopf Schwarzkopf I'm just gonna call it Schwarzkopf they have this thing called got to be ultra glued invincible styling gel and this is the best product ever if you have baby hairs and you chopped it off like a dumbass that you are actually that i am actually we all are we've all chopped off baby hairs don't act like you're good and everything we've all done that i chopped my baby hairs way back in the day because a lot of you were like what the hell is going with your hairline it's so ugly what did you do and they all grew weird and shit the baby hairs they grew up like the best part is I got this at 3 p.m. today by Amazon. Got the product at 3 p.m. and I tried it on, obviously. I'm just like, I need to see if this works. And it's like 12 right now. It's been nine hours since my hair has been just sitting there and it's amazing. The name's called Glued and it is like 100% glue. Cement, very call even. It's unmoved a bit, like not even a little bit. So I'm assuming that if you have like 4C, 3C hair, super curly hair, baby hair, or even super straight hair that doesn't like sit with any wax or gels, I would highly recommend getting this guy. The next thing I wanna talk about is this like cute thing that I talked about Instagram and everyone bullied me for getting this book. So this book is called One Line a Day and it says a five-year memory book. So this book is like the Bible. I'm kidding, it's not. But the best part about this book is that you get to write a line about your day every single day for five years and then you read it when you're pregnant, when you're married to a douche your mom set you up with and then you're like, what the f I was happier single before and then you leave him. Wow, that's like a Jane the Virgin episode by itself. <laughs> but I'm just saying like it's amazing because you get to like, you know, write your memories and whatever you did that day. Like something so stupid even like I there was a day I just took a shower that's it like I didn't do anything with my life I just took a shower so I wrote that in my book and it's insane like you read about it five years from now and you'll be like shocked so um I thought it'd be like a cute book and everyone's like you're fucking stupid just get a book a normal book but I'm like this is cute like I don't know it's so freaking cute you get this on Amazon let me just see what I I don't want on a specific day so May 2nd wrote my final exam woohoo the last of me holding a pen my next favorite product for the year, literally for the whole life of mine. This is a nail polish brand owned by Kathleen Lights on YouTube. You guys know her. I love her. She's an Aquarius like me. Bought like a bunch of her nail polish to like support her. And everyone rave about her nail polishes. That's why I got it. And I have to say, I really do love them. And then I found out something happened down the line and she doesn't own this anymore. There are some shitty ass nail polish brands. You know, you just like hold a cup of water, hold a mug and your nails are like chipping everywhere. If you put this on, it's staying in for a good month. For me, I had like a one five months with these guys the next thing i want to talk about is the morphe continuous setting mist and this is what it looks like i think i've talked about this in every single makeup video of mine anytime i find like my face is cakey even like right now when i look at myself i'm like honey you are cake city but sometimes i do want my face my makeup to kind of melt into my skin that's when i reach up to this guy because guys this is a very very good setting spray morphe as a brand is just like hit or miss like you might like something you might not but i'm telling you setting spray is a plus it's honestly as good as like a, a high and setting spray i'm not even kidding like my cat one is okay this was my very first bottle and i just wanted to like try it out and i really like it i'm gonna get like five of these if you have like oily skin i don't think you would like it i have combination skin so i really really love the product the next thing i want to talk about is what is this a posture corrector this is all for you camels out there y'all walk like oh oh have you ever like just ask a friend 
just to like click a picture of you from the side. A lot of you sit like this. I was one of them, by the way. I, I had no idea, so I would just like take pictures like this and I'm like, yeah, I look good, whatever. Then a friend of mine took a picture from the side. Oh my God, I was like a little, little brown little camel like this. Posture is so important. I, I, I don't know if anyone has told you this, but it is. When you're walking in the mall, like I see so many teenage kids and everyone walks like this. They're just so used to sitting like this. It's so fucking ugly, like face good, body not. I know a lot of you camels like just did this, but like you just sit like this for a while and by default, you, you become like this and it's just really sad. So, little camels, I have something for you. <laughs> I got the brand called Cell Bite. You don't have to get the specific brand. You can get any posture corrector. They do the same job. But um, guys, I'm not even kidding. I wore this just 10 minutes or 15 minutes every single day. And I wore it for, I want to say like four days and I saw a huge difference. Like, like I was walking like this, eating like this, picking up things like this. It's insane. Like, it's just so weird, like how our body works. When I, I was trying this out, I was just like, that's insane. My body just like quickly learned to just stay like this now. And and if you actually stop wearing it after a while, you kind of come to your default position or you kind of like your body kind of forgets how to posture itself properly. So you want to wear this for a good month just to like make your body used to like this instead of this. Okay, I'm just going to show you um, how you put it on. It's just like a normal backpack. This is how you do it. The way I've done it is wrong, by the way. You're not supposed to do this, but I'm just showing you. So it's, you're just supposed to put it on like a backpack and it kind of makes sure you don't do this. It kind of stops me from the back when people take pictures of you. Then you see this. It's fucking embarrassing. So go get yourself damn posture corrector y'all camels okay we have another product to go we have we have the vani cream this is a gentle facial cleanser vani cream i talked about you know using this and i asked you guys if anyone uses it and a lot of you were like yeah we use it um i don't see a huge difference so for me a facial cleanser has to do one job and that's just cleanse my face and that's it i don't want vitamin a vitamin c i don't want moisturized hydrated no cleanse my face please and then just leave so what happens is a lot of cleansers they have like a bunch of stuff like oh we're gonna cleanse it we're gonna clean it we're gonna moisturize we're gonna pay your taxes along with it no 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 Shh. i don't want that i just want you to clean and then fuck off that's all i'm looking for in a cleanser so that's why i love this i feel like if you're looking for something more in a cleanser you will not like this the reason i love this is because it does nothing to your skin let me explain so it's free of dyes fragrance lanolin parabens formalalalalayer and it's also sulfate free betaine free oh my god i hate signs it's sulfate free betaine free i don't know what that is and other preservatives so that's amazing and that's what you want in a cleanser because you're gonna use it every single day I want it to be pure like it has to have nothing in it just have me clear up my face you know that's why I love using this it doesn't do much it foams up it clears my face so if you're looking for something like that I would highly highly recommend getting this if you're allergic to this and that and you have super super sensitive skin you will not find anything better than this best part is that it's fragrance free and that is amazing guys you have no idea fragrance is one of the biggest like troll ingredients in your skincare list like you do not need fragrance honey you don't you don't need everything just smells like strawberries and smoothies i'm just saying I, I hate when it's like strawberry mixed with coconut and i'm like i don't care i don't i don't want to smell like freaking iftar in the middle of me driving freaking useless like it's so stupid to me in my opinion like i i i, I love and it's like fear fragrance that's when i like buy something i don't want to smell like a chocolate vanilla with cherry sprinkles i don't want to smell like a birthday cake. It's also cesia free. So if you have malicesia skin, if you're prone to tiny bumps in your skin, this will not give you those bumps. So um, I highly recommend getting this. Hello, is anyone there yet? I, I feel like everyone just left, clicked off. Um, I have a bunch of more products left to go. I have like one, two, three, a few more. Foundations, the best summer foundations. This is so crusty. This is the Fenty foundation. I hate this foundation when you use a sponge with it. It's super drying. It's super streaky. It's not my favorite thing. It's such a beautiful foundation when you do it with a brush. And this is the brush that I use. It's from a brand called makeup B and it's the only brush my Fenty works well with otherwise it's just a hot mess it doesn't work with sponges or beauty blenders or anything no 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 it's just so ugly and then I used a brush it was beautiful Cesia free I think yeah it is Cesia free now for my lighter days which is literally never like what the f where's makeup to look natural I don't but if I feel like it that's when I use this guy this is the ordinary um, foundation I have the serum foundation it's in 3.0 Y it's a super lightweight water serumy foundation like can you hear that it's like really watery liquidy foundation like it's not your cake city like how Nancy likes to do her makeup so if you're someone who likes to wear super natural makeup to school or out because it's like super mad hot this is the foundation you want to use I got these glasses from forever 21 I just want to talk about it like why I wear them and I wear them so people don't know who I am <laughs> sometimes I'm f***ing ugly I just want to say I'm I'm like mad looking I don't even look half as good as I look right now so that's what I wear these glasses so like no one knows who I am but the worst part is people still like like figure out who I am from the side from the back like hello how do you know this Nancy like, how do you just know who I am like how like, this is how 
I was just walking like this and someone just like figured my back and they I'm just like oh my god So these are called my ugly face glasses Everyone knows in my family that I wear this when I don't want anyone to see me or recognize who I am And it's so embarrassing because I'm like, I don't match my pictures or my ID card So um, I think every dumb bitch needs these glasses in case you run into an ex or a police officer The secret is actually to like hide your eyebrows Now no one can tell who I am It's just like my little tips and tricks to hide your face But um, I always get caught and people always know who I am with these glasses But I would highly recommend getting just big glasses Keep it with you in case you don't want to see anyone Just want to run away These are your glasses The next thing I want to talk about are some Colourpop brow products I have like five of them guys Yes, I have some more actually in my drawers But these are are my favorite brow pencils they're super creamy and they're amazing they stay on all day and they're super inexpensive and these are my favorite um, brow pencils and the color that I get is black and brown I also want to talk about a meat thermometer if you are scared of meat like I am this is your thing why do they not teach this shit in high school I just want to know like why do they not teach me there's something called a meat thermometer hello ha but I love using this guy. Um, it's a digital thermometer. It's amazing. It shows you whatever you're cooking, whether it's beef or pork or chicken. I got him from Amazon. You basically poke the meat and then it shows you exactly if you want to cook more, if it's raw, if it's uncooked. That's the same thing, you stupid fuck. Oh my god, I'm losing brain cells. But basically, if you wanna, wanna see if your meat's cooked or not, this is the best tool to use to figure out what's what's going on with your meat. Before you click off, we have one last item. Oh, we have three, shit. Okay, quickly we're gonna talk about this guy. It's my Upbra um, bra. I actually did a sponsored video with them. Still use them if you wanna have big tits all the way up to Jesus. These are the ones that you wanna wear. Like your little tits will be all the way to your chin, honey. And they have a lot of padding and cushion. You put it on, it's also strapless. So if it's, 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 it's good for a wedding dress if you're getting married and you want to have big tits but you don't want to have straps on and whatever the next thing I have is the Tresme Export Pet and Smooth Frizz Free Serum best this is the best that's the review this is the best it smells so freaking good I know I know I talk shit about smells I'm very picky with fragrance and this is such a good smell that I I don't even know what it smells like, it's amazing. It helps your hair from getting all frizzied up and it keeps your hair super smooth. And you kind of spray this after you get out of the shower. So I put this all over my hair. Actually, not all over my hair. I don't have half my hair with me, which is which is great. Yeah, I just put this all over my hair and I just put it in and then I kind of like smooth it with my fingers. A little expensive in my opinion. This is my very first bottle and you just have to use a little bit by the way. Don't, don't get your hair super damp as well. It's my very first bottle and I do see myself getting this again. The last thing, children, I have this tabletop what is it called so this is called a laptop not a laptop like a lap top this is your legs and you put this on top of your legs and then you put your laptop on top and you edit your videos and this is a me oh shit no got this from ikea guys this is such a lifesaver so you basically face the soft cushiony pillowy side on top of your legs on on top of your lap and then you place your laptop on top and then you edit your videos or you watch whatever you want to do guys by the way you should never put your laptop on your bed like on your bed bed uh because it's kind of like overheats it's, um it's always good to have some sort of like a support and this is the one that i got from ikea a little expensive but this guy has helped me so so much because um, I used to always put my laptop on my lap and it would freaking like heat up like when you look at it you're like yeah I'm not gonna get it but you really need one in your life I think everyone does if you have a laptop but yeah that's the end let me know if you have some favorites for this month that I should try I want your A plus product that you discovered in the last five months like leave a product down below that you think that absolutely everyone should get this like the best product in your mind let me know in the comment section but yeah subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload and I'll see you guys in my next video